we will first look at what is vehicle routing problem or VRP. Then we will see what is inventory routing problem and how VRP and IRP is connected. The main objectives of a vehicle routing problem is to find optimal routes for customers' deliveries such that the overall cost is minimized. This problem falls into non-deterministic polynomial hard category. In this example, we have a single depot and multiple customers. Vehicles are available to perform deliveries, to fulfill customers' demand. Based on customers' location, distance between customers and depot, can be easily calculated, by using the distance formula. The questions are, what is the sequence of customers to visit? What is the best route to take? Such that, the operational cost and the distance, is minimized. And the efficiency is increased. This problem is known as vehicle routing problem. Hence, solving VRP will gives the optimal policy that minimizes all the costs. This is the problem considered in our research. It is the current practice in the industries, that customers, own one or more warehouses. Having their own warehouses will maximize the efficiency, and, consolidation of customers' deliveries will further minimizes the transportation costs. Having warehouse, means customers can keep inventories. And inventories need to be managed. The combination of the vehicle routing and inventory management, is known as the inventory routing problem. This is another problem considered in our research. Mathematically, the problem can be modeled as a mixed integer linear programming. For example, this is the formulation, for solving the inventory routing problem. The aim is to minimize the inventory costs at the customer's site, variable travel cost, and fixed vehicle costs, which subject to several constraints, depends on the details. For both problems, there are two types of solution methodology. The first one is exact method, which includes branch and bound and dynamic programming. However, due to its complexity, finding exact solution for the problem is computationally expensive. Thus, we opted for near-optimal solution, which is the second methodology, meta-heuristic. This method produce high-quality solutions, in a reasonable time. This method is effective and suitable as the difficulty of our problem increases with the number of customers. For example, genetic algorithm and artificial bee colony. Another option is, math heuristic, which is the combination of exact and meta heuristic methods. Aligned with sustainable development goals, our research outcomes contributed to, specifically, the 9th, 11th and 13th goals. Our research covers the current trends especially carbon dioxide emissions. In Malaysia, transportation is the main component of logistics system, which is also the major contributor to the carbon dioxide emissions. Another environmental aspect to consider is the greenhouse gases emissions from the industry processes. GHG gases such as methane, nitrous oxide and carbon dioxide were released during the product manufacturing takes into account the manufacturing into the formulation leads to another type of IRP, which is the production inventory routing problem. Another aspect to consider is, social aspect. The formulation will consider, the effects of transporting hazardous materials such as medical waste or radioactive materials. We can also consider to add constraints that avoid routes with higher accident risk when performed the deliveries or we can add constraints that ban vehicles to operate during peak hours or holiday seasons. Objectives of this research include, but are not limited to, green vehicle routing problem, which consider another objective, it is to minimize the emissions of carbon dioxide. The green inventory routing problem, that is a combination of GVRP and IRP, to develop metaheuristic method, that find a better policy, for both problems. Scan for more information. Thank you.